Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome to my channel. Um, by the title you can probably tell that I've had a little bit of a rough week. Um, I promise that if you're new here, most of my videos aren't like this. This is a rare occasion. So I'm getting ready for a trip right now, which will be the vlog next week. But I have to do my makeup, so I'm just going to talk while I do it. So just as a little background, if you don't know anything about me, um, I have a rare disease called Friedrich's ataxia. So basically I have trouble with my balance and coordination and that only gets worse as I get older. Last week was um, Thanksgiving break. So we had all week off and then we had to go back on Monday. So every day after school this week, I had something to do. Like, Monday it was physical therapy, um, Tuesday I had to go volunteer at this thing, um, Wednesday I had church, so I had something to do every day after school, which I normally don't, and because I get very tired very easily. Rewind to like over Thanksgiving break, I was having a lot of um, weird pain in my knees, like pain. I've never had before and I didn't know what it was um it hurt really bad but it was every Thanksgiving break so I was home I was fine um and then when I went to school on Monday I was just more tired than usual um probably because I had had that week off and I I had that really bad pain again and then Tuesday I got up, went to school like normal, did all that, and then Wednesday same thing, got up, went to school, did my after school activities, came home, went to bed. And I went to bed like every night at like 10. So then Thursday I got up and it was like a whole nother level of tired. I got up with a headache. Is that kind of tired where your eyes hurt? Which is a whole nother level of tired. And then as I was walking out, to get in the car to go to school my knee or my entire leg really gave out which happens a lot my knee will just give out all the time but usually I have a little bit of warning like I can feel it before it gives out so I have time to grab onto something this time however it was my whole leg and it just gave out I had no warning so I fell in the middle of the garage <laughs> that was fun Obviously, I was flustered at this point because I was already tired and I fell and that wasn't fun. So, I went to school and my mom told me, like, if you cannot do it, call me and I'll come get you. Second and third hour, I had quizzes and then I had nothing for the rest of the day. And I went and saw my math teacher because I have her the last hour of the day, which is annoying. Um, and I went and saw her and I was like, I gotta go home what are we doing and am i going to be able to do it by myself and luckily they were just doing a review so i went home i felt one of the worst ways that i've ever felt in my life i was so tired and my body hurt so much i felt like a little bit of a failure just because like all my friends do their after school activities and they don't get like this and the one time I tried to be busy like all the time it backfired on me so if you know me you know it's built into me to be super busy I like being busy I like being productive but sometimes I overdo it actually a lot so this week was one of those instances where I overdid it and I felt absolutely terrible I felt like I shouldn't have left school. I felt like um, missing school was such a dumb idea and I could have made it through. But the truth is I probably couldn't have. So Thursday I came home and I took a nap for like an hour and a half. And then I got up and laid in bed so I rested and then I had to go volunteer at this other thing Thursday evening. So I went to that and I came home and I was just exhausted all over again. 
And so Friday, I went to school, which was already a stretch because that same thing in the garage when I was walking to the car, my leg gave out, I fell on the ground, and it frustrated me and I cried. And then um, I came, my mom picked me up after six hours, so I didn't have to go to the seventh hour. And I came home. I was supposed to go volunteer at this thing after school and until like five and my mom had to email the lady in charge of it and was like Kate cannot do it she's been in pain all week she's way too tired which I was so I did not go to that the pain I was feeling was um really weird weird I usually have like muscle pain so like soreness it's kind of like soreness that's what i usually have but this was like nerve pain so like i could feel it like deep down in my legs so that's why it was so much and then the whole week i was just so frustrated because i didn't understand i didn't like it it never happened to me before and like i i told my mom I was like, you need to call the doctor because, like, something is wrong. And she was like, unfortunately, Kate, I don't think anything's wrong. Which was, which kind of hit me really hard because I don't, I don't like to think about the progression of FA very often. And when I do, it makes me really sad. So I try not to think about it. But in that instance, I had to think about it. And I'm okay now. I'm um, a little bit frustrated, but okay, I came through it. It's just a long week for me, and I struggled a lot this week. I hate having to hide my feelings and pretend like nothing's wrong. And I, I don't like having the barrier between us like on camera and on such media i always look like i'm super positive all the time but this the truth of the situation is sometimes i struggle just like everybody else and sometimes i have bad days bad weeks and that's okay i just get back up and do it again and hope for a better outcome Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm really sorry that it was kind of sad and low key. So if you're new here and you like this video, which I don't know why you would, it's kind of depressing. But please subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday for the most part. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.